Oh, Bearcats. Yeah, the uh, the Bearcats, they put up uh, bonus points in, in several matches so far, and obviously unfortunate that Sean Pearson unable to finish the match, giving up six points there. So, uh, you know, who knows what, what it would be if Pearson was able to compete and finish, but uh, regardless, it's 20-0 to zero right now for the Bearcats as we start moving into uh, kind of the bulk of the lineup here, the, the second half of, of our final five matches. Um, we have... A good matchup here with uh, Eli Rivera here uh, for the for the Princeton Tigers against a tough Binghamton Bearcats opponent in Zarif, uh, Mike, Michael Zarif. So we will see if Eli Rivera can bounce back from a from a tough loss yesterday to Ethan Fernandez of Cornell. You got you got to think that he's a little bit a little bit pissed that he. Uh, you know, wasn't able to get that win yesterday and uh, was a tight match. See if he comes out here strong, which he he, he does. Nice three-point takedown off the whistle. The Tigers could really use some points here too, down 20 to nothing uh, against the Bearcats. Really need to turn things around in these last five matches. Yeah, if they're not able to put up bonus points, you know, there's, there's really nothing they can do. Obviously, they have that six-point buffer. Binghamton does after that... Uh, that, that, that kind of medical forfeit from, from Pearson. So uh, a fall would be really big if, if Princeton's able to get one. That would kind of put things back into striking distance. But at the same time, right, we, we still saw two major decisions in the first two matches of this dual meet. Also, you know, a factor here in, the, in these last five matches. So Princeton has a, has a tall order to come back. And if they want to win this match, they're going to they're gonna have to put up a lot of points. It's a quick takedown here from Rivera in this first period. He lets him up right away, looking to get back into this match as we see a restart. We'll see if that's a maybe an eye poke caution or, or some, something of the like. But fresh start here, another single leg, and this quick stall already here on Michael Zarif. See if Eli can lock up this low leg cradle. He's looking for it. Yeah, he's close to exposure. It's a reef still hooking that around that back leg. Another Eli's going to pick three. up another three-point takedown. He's looking to get to work here on top. And he's done a great job of bringing the pressure. Not only is he dominating the match in takedowns, like he's looking for, for those bonus points. He, he knows that the, the Tigers need, need them if they want to stay in this match. Yeah, he looks a little frustrated, man. I mean, I, I get it. I mean, I think if I was him, I'd be frustrated too. Um, not only with, you know, like yourself, right? Because I think one of the things that wrestling kind of makes you focus on, right, is how you have to be selfish, right? Because the best thing you can do, and, and, you know, our coaches used to say this, right? It's like the best thing you can do for the team is be selfish, right? Is focus on anything that you need to do to be able to compete at the highest level. As you see, a nice little claw roll through. Wasn't able to get that back exposure for points, but one of my favorite moves right there with that little... Uh, near side wrist claw roll through on the opposite side. That's a really, really nice, fancy top move there. Unable to get any back points out of it. But another one, looking for another attempt. He had to try to throw that le top leg in. He wasn't able to throw that top leg in to keep that back exposed to the mat. But he's, you know, putting attempts out there. Looking like he might cut him here. But the best thing you could do is be selfish, right? And it's focus on trying to be the best version of yourself, and that's eventually going to make the team better off because if Three you can put, a, put yourself out there in this individual matches and produce high-level, you know, wrestling, that's going to be the best thing you can do for your team. Rivera with another, another takedown here right at the end of the first, and with that, he'll go up 9-2 to two over Zarif. Short time. Yeah, short time here in the first. Really aggressive start here for Eli Rivera, and, and it's exactly what you want to see if you're the Princeton Tigers after a tough loss yesterday to another ranked opponent, he's coming back fire. Nice, th nice takedown, righty single, right to a double. Quick finish, second takedown here. Looking like he might have been able to lock up that little leg cradle, but able to still secure that three-point takedown. And then the third one here, shelving that leg up. Nice finish. Makes it a 9-2 right now with a minute and 22 of riding time. Eli Rivera in the driver's seat. Yeah, and the, the freshman just had a great performance thus far through the match. 
caution to start. Rivera looking to bring Zarif back to the mat. Nice mat return. You see that big mat return there? That's, that's a really good way to continue this ride here and continue to work tough on top as you see the riding time continuing to go up. Also a great way, way to just catch the guy out of position, maybe working for something, try to get a little back exposure. I think sometimes, right, it's almost it's, it's difficult to get a mat return, but it, it's, it's rewarding in the sense that you kind of get the guy broken flat down if you get a good one, and you can start working on top. As you see, the arm bar slips in here. He's got a right wrist. He's looking to bring that right wrist on the right side, but deep arm bar on the left side there. See if you continue to, to drive forward and, and look for back points, but doing a good job in the ride so far. We'll see if he tries to continue to ride. He gets another stall call. That's going to be a, a stall call point. He's, he's really working for this arm bar here. It's going to be 10-2 with that stall point tacked on top. 50 seconds in the second period. He's got the major at this point, but see if he can continue to score points and, and, and put more points in the scoreboard to tack it up towards a technical fall or maybe even try to get back exposure for a pin. And he's flipping him over with the bar. Ooh, that looks close to a pin. Yeah, he got about 30 seconds. He's got time, and he's going to get the fall there. That was a big fall for the Tigers. And we talked about this, right, with that Sean Pearson medical forfeit. They needed some big some big points, some big team points. And, and Eli Rare able to put some up on the scoreboard for, for the Tigers here. He's pumped up. He's happy about his performance. And that's going to be hopefully a catalyst for these Tigers to come back and win the last four. Yeah, hopefully that can set the tone for the, the, the Tigers moving forward. They were looking a little bit limp in the first half of the match. Very limited takedowns, very limited offense. And hopefully they can just continue that trend forward. Just stuck to that arm bar and, and did a good job staying composed and just sinking his weight down and getting that pin.